That's what I'm just thinking about. Now, I'm not a real big believer in uh, global warming. And I've made videos about that before, so I won't get into it here. But, um, let's say it really is what, what the, the media tells us, even though that's suddenly the case. Um, why does it make sense then that food is shipped from one side of the country to another, or from one country to another? Like, I live in Ohio. How much food do you think I end up getting from California? or Mexico, or even places like Brazil. No joke. Winter, back in the winter, I remember buying some honeydews that were made in Brazil. I would think for the cost to ship something that far, we could probably grow them in a greenhouse in the winter time here for probably less, right? Even, even in the dead of winter in Ohio or Michigan or somewhere like that. <clears throat> and I get sometimes you kind of have to deal with like you get the grain belt states that are known for producing lots and lots and lots of grain or places like Idaho that are known for potatoes but there's no reason we can't be more uh, self-sufficient in terms of you know from state to state at least where I'm at It just doesn't make any sense to me if there really is this, you know, quote unquote global warming. Yeah, people are dead silent when it comes to how far food is being shipped. And could that not have something to do with some of the health problems that we're facing? Might it help us to if we only had if we only consume food that was made you know, within like a 100 mile radius, for example, of, of where we are. Not, you know, a 1,000 mile radius. A lot of the apples that I get, at least in the wintertime, are made in Washington state. And they're always all mushy on the inside. It's like they're coated in wax or something like that. And loses that crisp bite to it that apples have. It, it doesn't make any sense for an apple to go from Washington to Ohio, right? It makes no sense at all. We should try and make our food more localized, not have it trucked from all over the place.